Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 11 in Kalashal Exam Simulator for Certified Kubernetes Application Developer. So solve this question on this instance. During the last monthly meeting, you mentioned your strong expertise in container technology. Now the build and release team of Department Sun is in need of your uh, insight knowledge. There are files to build a container image located at this location. The container will run a Golang application which uh, outputs information to STD out. You are asked to perform the following tasks. Note, make sure to run all commands as user candidate for docker user, use sudo docker. And uh, there are like five different questions that I have given. Uh, subsections change the docker file the value of the environment variable sun cipher id should be set to hard-coded value first let's um, inspect the docker file uh, which is in this location let's check with the directory here yes we have a docker file and a, a app.go file let's check the doc file first right so the first section says um, the environment variable sun cipher ID should use this hard coded value. Let's do that. So here we have. So I'll replace this one with this value. So that concludes the first section. Save this file. So the second one says uh, build the image using Docker um, named registry.killer.sh tagged as latest and v1 docker and push um, these to the registry. So we have to build this. Uh, image using the docker file uh, with the given tags so for which we need to first um, tag uh, these images um, so and there was a mention that we use, needed to use the uh, sudo um, to use docker so I'm using sudo docker build using this tag I'll copy this one and so we can specify two tags um, cipher latest and the other tag that we have to specify should be v1 dash docker and our docker files are in current directory so i put the dot here so it started building it uh, let's give it some time so it has successfully completed um building him building it so let's inspect the images now. V1 Docker and latest. So these are the two uh, images which we just built. And then we still have to push these images. Um, so we'll use Docker push. Uh, we have to push the latest and we have to repeat the same process for the other tag that we created which is the v1 hyphen docker so both are done so this uh, we have taken care of the task subtask number two let's 
on three as well basically we built it in this stage two and the next step we have actually pushed them into the registry so the next one says run a container using podman which keeps running in the background named sun cipher using this image uh, sorry we have completed only this second one third one it's pretty much the same um, as the second but here instead of using docker we have to use podman um, it's 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 going to be the same approach so all we will be doing is instead of um, the docker we will be using a pod podman in this case so brought the command that we used earlier and instead of docker I simply have to use substitute the docker with the podman Uh, let's remove the sudo as well there was no mention saying that we have to use sudo for botman so build and then tag with, uh, this one uh, so instead of latest we have to use the tag called um, v1 podman so let's build the image Let's give it some time. Just completed uh, building it. So now let's inspect the image that we just created using Podman. So we'll issue Podman image LS. So we see this one is uh, this uh, image is now created just nine seconds ago right so we completed the third section let's focus on the fourth one um, oh we have to push it to the registry as well so instead of podman build we have to use podman push And this one, the image name with the tag. That's it, it's taken care. Um, the fourth one says run a container using Podman, which keeps running in background, named Sun Cipher, using this image. Uh, so we have to use the image that we just created using the Podman and push it to the registry. And then uh, run the container from candidate uh, CK80 3 so we are we are already um, in the mission and not as root at this one so let's do that so we'll use podman for doing that podman i uh, run fmd send the name should be sun cipher and this is going to be our image name let's run the bot so it, uh, it has created container let's do podman ps so it's created 30 seconds ago and yeah we see the container is now running right this last section of this question says write the logs of your container uh, sun cipher um, 
used into this location. Then write a list of all running Podman containers and do this um, file on the machine. So where the logs? So similar to Docker logs, we have Podman logs. Let's check for Sun Cipher. So this is um, the logs the container is writing. So the Golang application basically is um, programmed to write this random number uh, for the Sun Cipher ID, which we have set earlier. So this is the logs the container is producing. Now we have to write this logs into this location. Let's also verify if it is written there. Yes, it is. And then it also says uh, write a list of all running Podman containers into this one. Let's say Podman PS. This is Okay, so this is the only port or container that's running. Let's redirect it to this location. Open the file to confirm it's uh, if it's there. Yes, it does. So that's uh, the end of um, this question 11. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.